lived this for a while now. The clarity now is a living consistency. Now you, you take the responsibility and you decide, not only do I hear what's being said and understand it, but I'm willing to take the responsibility to move forward with this information. It's not about us. It's about the individual's decision um, to decide for themselves how they're going to apply this to their life. Do they want to move forward with this information? Do you want to take the responsibility of moving forward with this information? And I was never given that chance. I was forced into a position where I had to survive to get to the point where I could make a decision. And yeah. in that, in itself, forced me to say, people need to know that I have been through this hell and that this is not right. Something so simple, so so pure that I found something, I had something happen to me, and now I've had to live this hell because of it? What is that about? Why is it, if, it, if it's... If it's simply something as simple as finding something in the woods and realizing that there are, there are different dimensions to our lives that we are kept away from, why is that a bad thing? Why are there so many people that don't want this issue dealt on the table with, in the open? What is that about? That's why I have come forward because people need to know this is a good thing. This is about hope, not about fear, but people make it out to be about fear. They destroy the beauty, the simplicity of it by suppressing this information. And this information is very important, I feel, for all of us so that we can evolve emotionally, intellectually, and understand if nothing else, what our life really might be about. Rather than take and accept and walk away from the fear, the simplicity of what Jonathan's talking about, people tend to take a difficult, convoluted, technical, contrived path. And a path usually created by others to keep them in control. At this point in the conversation, Jonathan noticed a few people moving toward our table. He decided it would be best if we cut off our conversation. We packed up and left the restaurant. Jonathan and Robert drove me to where I was staying, and during the drive, we planned to make several of these recordings. Hopefully over the next three or four weeks, I'll post more information for you here on the website. Thanks for listening to our conversations.